Hypertone Stains is a revolutionary penetrating water and oil hybrid stain designed to safely change the color of wood flooring to complement any design style. In this video, we'll show you how to apply Hypertone Stains with a buffer to achieve the best result. To verify your dry point, always take moisture readings prior to application and or water popping. Prepare the floor according to NWFA recommendations. Water popping will ensure a successful project when using white or darker stains and when applying to highly dense wood species. Today we're demonstrating our hickory stain color. We've added stain glide to assist in the buffing process. As you can see the floor has been water popped. It does not need to be fully dry to stain the floor. Begin by cutting in along your starting wall. Wipe off the stain thoroughly with a terry cloth or thermal huck rag. Continue the process by applying a generous strip of stain parallel to the first strip using a paint pad or a roller. Using a buffer with a thick white pad, spread out the product evenly and thoroughly working it in. Do not leave excess stain on the floor. If needed, add stain to light areas and buff in as you progress. Continue buffing in the stain until uniform. To prevent burn-in, tip the buffer back when not in use. As you move across the room, cut in the butt ends following the longer areas you just buffed. With your terry cloth rags, thoroughly wipe off the stain to blend into the field. One of the many benefits of hypertone stains is in most cases a clean rag will wipe any stain right off the baseboard. Continue the process by adding generous strips of stain along previous sections and buff in as you progress across the room. To finish up the room, cut in the last wall and hand wipe that section. Apply a generous strip of stain and buff out that last row. Throughout the process, you'll need to change out the white buffer pad at intervals of approximately 300 to 400 square feet per pad. Hypertone stain set up quick enough to be able to walk on it while working out the last areas of the room. To reduce grain raise concerns, allow the stain to dry 20 to 30 minutes then buff with a thick red pad to burnish off raised wood fibers. Take moisture readings before proceeding with your finish application to make sure the floor is back to the base reading. White, jet black, and any mixes including these colors will take significantly longer to dry. Stain Glide will also extend dry times. One of the many benefits of Hypertone stains is cleanup can be as simple as soap and water. Thank you for watching.